Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making whole food plant-based breakfast sausage patties. These only have the good stuff though. We just took the seasonings from a sausage recipe that you're familiar with and we added in only the good stuff. So in here has black beans, it has oats, it has flax eggs, and then we have the seasonings from what you probably are familiar with, uh, with a sausage patty. And so we get all that flavor. These hold up great, they don't crumble, they don't fall apart, they reheat great, they freeze great, and so I'm just really excited for you to try these. So, I like to serve these warm with hash browns and greens. Sometimes we do a tofu scramble, but they are such a hit with everyone that I've had try them. There's a million other ways you can do it. Sometimes when we camp, we just like to have them cold. Uh, another idea is to crumble them up, great in salads, great on rice or on a grain, so many different ways to enjoy them. So I hope you guys will give this a try. Make sure you check down in our description box below and on our website. Everything is written out down there. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our whole food plant-based recipes. I come out with two of them a week that are oil-free, salt-free, sugar-free, and delicious. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Starting in a food processor, I have one cup of rolled oats. I also have two flaxseed eggs, and I'll have that in the description how you make it and in our recipe on our website. I also have one tablespoon of white miso, and this is going to add some of the flavoring as well as our salt substitute, but if you don't have a miso uh, at home right now, you can just skip this one. And then I have a whole bunch of seasonings for our sausage mix. I'm going to also put that on the screen now as well as have it on our website and in the description box. Although you can take the easy way out and find a, a sausage seasoning mix. And so I found this one on Amazon that was salt free and it's pretty good. So I also have this linked in our Amazon shop down below. But when you look at the grocery store, just try to find one that doesn't have sodium in it. So you can always just uh, take the easy way instead of measuring out all the seasonings. And then for this, I have one 15 ounce can of black beans that I've rinsed and drained. It ends up being around a cup and a half if you're cooking it from scratch. And that's it. Really simple. We're just going to pulse it till it's really well combined. And another great tip is to make this ahead of time and keep it in the refrigerator so that the uh, mixture is easier to form patties. I like to let this sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour. And I'm going to show you. It's a little bit more of a sticky batter, so it, it really does help. All right, once an hour is up and you've taken it out, I also find that adding a little bowl of water to form our patties helps a bunch. So in between the patties, you'll see me wet my hands just slightly, and that helps for it from sticking. This is a little bit of a wetter batter, um, so it does help a lot. So I really, really suggest kind of uh, getting your hands a little bit of wet in between. Perfect. All right, so now you can form your patties as big or as small as you want them. This also is a great burger uh, recipe. If you guys have seen our any burger recipe, it's pretty much the same thing with sausage, sausage seasoning in it. Um, but I like to form these little breakfast patties, so I get anywhere from 9 to 12 when I do it, um, just depending on how large I make them. So go ahead and form your patties for how many you want to make. Like I said, we... A lot of the times we'll triple this recipe and I will make a bunch and freeze it. And so you can freeze it at the stage of making the patties and then cook them when you're ready. That's how we like to do it. And they also, they also hold their shape really well and we add them in so many different things. So I would say right now this is a recipe I'm making every couple of days because it's such a hit in our house. But go ahead and form all of your patties. Again, it's going to be a little bit of a wetter uh, batter, so you might want to wet your hands in between, or really let it chill in the fridge beforehand. All right, once our sausage patties are complete, we can go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees, and we're going to bake them. So they turned out really well. I'm going to show you an up-close look at them. I wish you guys could smell how good it smells, especially when they start to bake. <laughs> All right, and then they came out. So they come out beautiful, they hold their shape, they don't fall apart, and this was around 20 minutes in the oven. Super easy and simple. 
Can't wait for you guys to try it. These are one of our favorite recipes. I hope you give this recipe a try. It is one of our favorites. So it breaks off really easily, doesn't crumble or fall apart, which is amazing. And I just love it. All of those flavorings are there. You can tweak it how you like, but this one's a winner for sure for us. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I'll see you very soon for the next one. But go enjoy some breakfast patties that uh, you made that are delicious and nourishing. So I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.